Well, welcome to the journey. Um, as we begin uh, 2021, um, we reflect back on 2020. Obviously, it was a year um, that will probably be remembered, at least in our generation, remembered for uh, throughout our entire life of how things had shifted and changed because of the, the COVID uh, pandemic and the response and the reactions to that, uh, to the, the Black Lives Matter protesting that happened um, over the spring and summer months leading into the fall and all the unrest that happened from the political standpoint. And, and there's so many different things that happened. And, and so one of the things that I did today with my staff, I got the idea from a, a particular motivational speaker is I sat with my staff and I asked them during a team meeting, I asked them to um, pull open their phone and uh, look through their camera roll at the photos of 2020 and reflect on, um, there are different photos that they had taken throughout the year. And for me, um, there were some clear uh, shifts and changes that I noticed during that time period. Uh, there was the, all the pre-COVID activities and presentations and interactions that I had taken photos of. And even to the point where I, I recognized the photos that were taking of the last presentation I had done prior to um, the shutdown happening. And then the different photos of transitioning that we took during COVID. A lot of photos that showed that I was starting to switch from in-person interviews for the podcast um, to Zoom uh, for, the, for the interviews, switching over to doing uh, Zoom or virtual presentations instead of in-person presentations. Um, how that uh, I was taking a lot more pictures of, of, and I always take pictures of when I'm out in nature, but these particular pictures, I was very aware of uh, the different changes in seasons and noticing the, the seasons uh, changing over, over the year. Um, pictures of, of family, not as many pictures of, of interacting with friends because of the restrictions, um, but noticing how there had been different snapshots of, of, of examples of how uh, the quarantining and the response to that had, had played a part on my camera roll. One of the things that we also did in that exercise is that I also asked them to imagine what photos would they want to have in their 2021 camera roll. In other words, what, what pictures do they want to look back on a year from now that they took during 21? I guess this would be another way of having goals for 21 or uh, the New Year's resolution. I reflected on what does resolution mean or to be resolved, and it's to decide firmly a course of action. I think many times this idea of, of uh, a new year starting, the holidays wrap up, all the activities that go around the holidays uh, finish and wrap up, and this clean start of a new year um, seems to be in our culture uh, a, a starting over, a renewing spot or a beginning spot. Unfortunately, though, um, some research shows that though there is some goals that are set at the beginning of January, by mid-February, about 85% of those goals are abandoned. There's probably a variety of different reasons why those goals are put back on the shelf. Maybe one of them is, is that we don't actually have resolve regarding our resolutions. But I'd like to identify three things that can maybe help you accomplish your goal or resolutions. Um, first, is probably really be mindful and clearly identify what you would want to have, what desire you would like to have accomplished um, by this time next year. Take, take a moment to envision what is that that you would like um, to see different or change? What would be the benefit if this goal is accomplished in the next 12 months? Write it out 
and put some detail to it. Um, put some type of reminder in a place uh, where you can see it or you intentionally choose to look at it on a daily basis so that you can look at it on a daily to multiple times a week throughout 21. Second, strategies and action, action steps to, uh, to set, uh, to make this goal happen. What are some actionable steps that you can do? What are some strategies in which you can make uh, your goal come to a reality? If it's, let's say, losing weight, then what different things can you do regarding different food choices or portion sizes? What exercise activities are you going to add on and that you can start uh, setting strategies of, of when are you going to do that exercising? Or is it better to do it in the morning? Is it better to do it midday? Um, in the evening, what's going to work best for you to get some immediate success so that you can start building some momentum with that? But we need not just to have the idea and the intention of it, but we need to set up some action and str strategies to make those things come to life. And the third thing is accountability letting someone else know that you have this uh, goal for this year, letting maybe more than one person know, or maybe start writing it in a journal and having benchmarks in which you come back and you measure how you've been doing. Maybe it's going to be a weekly progress review or a monthly progress review so that you can look back and see how you have made some progress toward this. Or if you did have a setback, what is it that you can learn from that setback? And speaking of setbacks, um, expect them to happen. I know you're probably thinking that, why am I being so negative about that? I'm not being negative. I'm looking at the reality that we probably are not going to put in place something for 52 weeks and do it perfectly the whole time. That setbacks or lapses of, of not following through with our goals may happen or probably will happen. It's not thinking that that's somehow a sign or, or an omen that I shouldn't do this. It means I need to step back, recalibrate, what can I learn from it, and then start moving ahead toward that goal again. Because setbacks may be just part of the story, but it doesn't have, the story doesn't have to end there. Allow yourself to realize that you have 52 weeks to accomplish your goal. 52 weeks to take one step toward the things that you want to accomplish to be the better you in 21. And when you look back on that camera roll, you can say, this was one of the things that I want. This is one of the things I wanted to see in January of 22, to be able to see this progress and this growth during the year 2020. As always, uh, thank you for listening. Um, share with someone that you may believe needs to hear this message.